presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Okay, folks, uh, this is Larry Pesavento setting in for the master himself, Tom O'Brien, and this happens to be the Chinese year of the tiger. So I'm sure we'll be hearing his lovely growl for another year and many years thereafter. But today he's taking a day off to spend with his lovely little grandson, Tommy the 13th. I think that's what they refer to him as. Anyway, uh, what I thought I would do today, because uh, you folks here listen to the stocks all the time, is to show you what's happening across the pond over there in England and Germany and I posted a chart for the FTSE and also for the DAX and as you can see they also have had a big drop down and been rallying for the last few days they don't seem to care what happens in our markets just like they don't in Asia and that's the way it should be each market is separately and that's how it should be viewed but let me tell you a little story about 10 years ago there was a man there in uh, Clearwater Florida named Tom O'Brien and I'd been doing his radio show for about four years and Tom coined the praise the phrase king dollar when the dollar was trading at 73 and from 73 it went all the way up to I believe 150 as I recall something like that some ridiculous number so we're going to be talking about the king dollar uh, today because it's got a very interesting uh, picture that's looking at it I want you to see here I'm going to pr I put it into the chart room so you folks will be able to uh, to take a look at it and as soon as I can find it which will be hopefully sometime in each of our lifetimes Here's where we are today, folks. Uh, this was as of last night. As you can see here, uh, we had have a big double top up in here. We had a big gap up last night, and we closed right on that double top. But, folks, let me see. Double tops are there to be broken, and this one was broken very dramatically. I mean, it has told everybody that, look, look at me. I want to go a whole lot higher. And this next chart, you're going to see where the U.S. dollar is going. Now, the pattern that you're looking at here is known as the AB equals CD pattern. This was formulated by H.M. Uh, Gartley way back in the 1920s, but uh, Ben Mandel brought, brought it out and showed that the fractal that he used to describe cover all the things that happened in nature and stuff is based on this seed pattern which is known as the ABCD pattern as you can see in the blue uh, turquoise triangles there that's nothing more than another ABCD triangle it's also known as the lightning bolt uh, pattern but uh, it really helps describe what things are going you can see we're looking at at least 9823 in this US dollar index which you know folks you stop and think about it the euro is 53% of the dollar index so if the dollar index goes up it means that the euro must go down and that's exactly uh, what is happening if we take a look at the dollar here uh, get, get it up here so we can look at it on a t little bit longer uh, time frame and I'll bring this up to here for just a second here there it is right here now take a look at the dollar going back over the last two years you're going to see that we came all the way down to 89.40 and now we're heading to that number we just looked at on the daily which is 98.29 at that point you're going to be reaching a 0.618 Fibonacci number we use a lot of in our of our technical analysis based on these numbers because we see them act not all the time but you know better than 65 percent of the time they help us out on where mar markets should go and this one certainly looks like it wants to go at least to 61 percent and that's up another uh, full handle in the dollar index which means the euro would be dropping another few handles and that's not uh, very good for the euro but it is also good for people that happen to be looking to be buying gold because you're going to be buying gold a whole lot cheaper because as the dollar index goes up gold goes down and that's what we've been seeing here over these last um, last few days now i want to give a quick little summary here 
on the euro because this is what we're looking at here in the euro. As you look at the U.S. dollar – uh, going up, if you'll take a look at the euro, you can see that the euro is heading down. Now, the, with the U.S. dollar going up, it means we buy things and in other countries cheaper because we get good dollars and we're buying them with the things like the British pound has been dropping, the euro has been dropping. That means we can buy things from Europe and also from uh, Britain to, to tell us that you know prices are going down. So it's a good switch for us. How long that lasts, we don't know. But just take a look at this euro on the last over the last two years from two tw from 2020. And you'll notice that big drop during that time of the COVID where it went from February, those strong three weeks down into February when COVID was starting. Well, after that started, you can see uh, way it went all the way up to 120. And now the euro is down at uh, it's around 112 right now. But, folks, it looks like it's heading to 106. That's a perfect Gartley pattern, also known as uh, Benoit Mandelbrot's. A seed formula, the A, B equals C, D, and that should come in sometime around April or May, maybe even late, a little bit later, a little bit sooner. The timing's not important. The thing is, the price level that we're looking at here should bring it down to that level. Now, let's get back to the gold market. If we take a look at gold, and what we're going to do now is we're going to look at gold uh, on a, just a second here, we'll get it up right here for you. And we're all going to we're also going to look at the silver market too because silver's down almost a dollar uh, an ounce today, down around twenty two. That's two dollars and a half from where it was uh, just the other day. Now here is the price of gold, as you can see here. As we get this up here to take a look at it, you'll notice here that we were looking for the price of gold to top somewhere in that eighteen fifty level, and it topped at eighteen fifty four. The 78% level, one of the Fibonacci numbers, the square root of 618, came in exactly at 1954. And, excuse me, try that again, 1854. We're now trading uh, $60 a barrel. In <laughs> Late in the day for me, folks. I'm a futures and forex trader. It uh, is down over $60 a barrel down at the, and we broke in the old support there at, at 1800. We're down to 1792. If, our, if we are correct on this, I think you're going to be able to buy gold at one heck of a good price somewhere between 1718 and 1674. One of those two numbers is what we're watching for. If you'll notice, look at the top of this chart here when we hit 1879. You see that big lightning bolt pattern again? In other words, Mandelbrot's ABCD. There it is right there. The exact high, folks, was 1879. You can't make this up. And what did it do? It came all the way back down. It dropped from 1879 all the way down, $150 lower, 100, $125 lower to 1750 Then we rallied up. And that tells us uh, – hold on one second. I have to answer a question, and uh, we'll be right back here. Uh, it gives us an A, B, C, D that should take us down to 1718. We'll stop and think. 1718, folks – is only $80 from where we are right now. That's in one day. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back. This is Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien today. And what I'd like to do is we were talking about gold, and then I posted the chart of silver uh, showing you the daily chart, much, much weaker than gold. Can't even take out the previous month's high at any particular time. But the next chart really was the one that made us really get sort of bearish uh, on the gold and then also on the silver. Those of you that like head and shoulders patterns, you'll notice here that we have the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. Now, Dr. Andrew Lowe in his book, The Evolution of Technical Analysis, and also The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, he had a formula for predicting, you know, what a head and shoulders pattern should look like. And there are two factors that must be, apparent, be there. The first is the distance in time between the left shoulder and the head, and the head and the right shoulder should be very, very close to being equal. And then also the right shoulder, where we are currently should be lower than the left shoulder or equal. It cannot be higher. If it's higher, it's not a head and shoulders pattern. As you can see on this one, it was just a tiny bit lower than it was back in September, and it was hitting a perfect 1.618 expansion at 24.75. And the high on that day, three days ago, was 24.75. We're now we're now looking at a $22 handle. That's a $10,000 drop in two days. So that also tells us there's a good chance that gold has a, had a chance to drop even further and some great buying opportunities come in now someone has just asked a question uh, one of tom's listeners and that is have i ever seen situations like we're seeing in the stock market before and the answer is yes and i'll go i'll go through with that uh, right now to try to answer the question if we look what happened in the stock market uh, over these last few days uh, if you'll remember here uh, we had this big drop in the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. I'm going to bring it up here so you'll be able to see that this is an hourly chart, so it covers at least eight or nine days. And you'll notice here, uh, the last few days, we've completed this Thunderbolt pattern again. There it is, exactly where it should be at 34,700. And what happened was, look at this, the market came all the way back down. But something even more important has happened, folks. This is what's really important from my perspective because the gentleman asked, have I ever seen this again uh, before? And I, I certainly have. And what I'd like to do is to, you know, try to share it with you of what I saw before. And this happened to go way back into uh, 1987, uh, going into uh, October the 2nd, when I saw that. And that was two weeks, of course, before we had the greatest buying opportunity of all time, which was also known as the big crash. Because even if the market breaks here, sometime in the near future, we're going to be able to see it 
that it's able to really able to do it. But look what's look what's so important here today, folks. And this is what the gentleman asked. If you look at this, I and I understand that Tesla's down ten percent today. But look at this. We made the first A B C D, and we came down and last night, and we tested it again today, folks. If we go below 33,400 by Friday, oh, my God, don't be long. And let me show you why. If you believe anything about what Mandelbrot did, and believe me, you don't get to be as smart as Mandelbrot without having a whole lot of followers. And so what you have to look for and what you've really got to be afraid of is what you're looking at here very, very shortly. And that's here is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at this pattern that we've seen many times before, and there it is. The first one you see, the ABCD pattern telling you it's a top, and look at the ABCD pattern here. And look where we're going to be. If we start closing down here below 33,600, 33,250 by tomorrow, uh, you're looking at a drop of 3,000 points in the Dow Jones Industrial Average sometime in the next two weeks. Folks, that's 10%. And the way these markets are acting, you know, stop and think today, folks. The Dow was down 400 points last night. It rallied 600 points. That's 1,000. Then it dropped 600, right? Then it went up 200. That's an 18-point swing in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. People don't like that kind of stuff. You know, they want to buy it, watch it quiet. Yeah, go up quietly, go down. These are volatile markets. What is that volatile market telling you? Get out of Dodge unless you know what you're doing. You know, this is not for the faint of heart. So be careful. Anything below 33250 you're going to be able to buy it 10% lower if this is correct. And believe me, you don't want to fade it for two reasons. First of all, the rally that occurred took three days, a three-day rally in what is called a bear market, and then reverses, not a good thing. <clears throat> but remember, I'm a technician, so maybe it doesn't work. But the key is... Like on that other chart, if it goes below 33,250, that's the key to what you're looking at. I haven't checked to see where it is. One of our friends in the den will tell us where the Dow is. Where is the Dow Jones trading right now, folks? Around 34,000 probably. Where, where, where is the Dow index itself? 34,000. Okay, well, you've got another uh, six or 700 points to really be afraid of because it gets below 33. Shut the front door and raise the rent. That's not going to be a very good thing to look at. That's that's when it gets really, really crazy. And we don't like crazy. We like things that are really easy to do. And uh, that's why the, the danger signals are out on this. We see it happening in, in some of these commodity markets also. It's really amazing. Look. Look what happened here to the E-mini S&P here just the other day. Here, this was happened on the 24th. That was just a couple of days ago. We had the big drop, and then we had the Fed day, and that 382 retracement, the high that day should have been 4440. And guess what that high was that day, Forks? 4440, and it's trading down below 4320 right now. So there again, you you got a market that is uh, telling you be really careful. From an old movie, you know, be afraid, be very afraid. And I'm just saying these patterns don't work all the time, but they work more times than they fail. And that's why you really want to pay, you know, really, really close attention to them because it's very important. And let me explain to you why the statistics behind this are so very important. When we had the first drop in that S&P, which was down on the 24th, I wanted to bring this to your attention here so you'll be able to uh, get a pretty good idea of, of what we're looking at right here. And let me see, there's the first one where, there it is right here. This is what happened when the market broke. And this is important because these algorithmic people watch this. This was the break you'll see on the 24th. We got down to one standard deviation and the market immediately reversed. Okay, now what happened last night? Unbelievable. You can't make this stuff up. It's just really exciting because I see it happen all the time. Here is the same situation when we had the market come down. You'll see the first standard deviation came down again. Folks, <laughs> if we go below that standard deviation one more time, boy, oh, boy, this is where the option option people, the guys, you know, they're six, seven times the size of the stock market. That's where they have to change their strategies. They have to start covering positions. And believe me, when they start covering positions, they're not worried about uh, how, what price to get out at. Just let me out. 
And that's the other thing you have to worry about. With these markets, with all of these TFs, if we could get a lot of people starting to come to the well at the same time, we could easily see a downdraft. And believe me, the, the people in the investment business, they love these downdrafts because the public is selling, getting out at any price, and at a much lower price, they'll be looking at them. And that's what we want to be watching for if this happens. So the other alternative, the other alternative is maybe – this is the major high of this move that's been going on since 2009. We'll, we'll be right back. We'll cover some FANG stocks when we get back. 877-927-6648. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find a newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to look at a couple of FANG stocks here because it uh, does a couple of things. Uh, it shows this, uh, you can see Tesla here, with those two turquoise tri triangles. There's nothing more than the ABCD pattern. These patterns are, can be found in Tom's award-winning book. Very, very popular, Timing the Trade. And uh, he focuses on these patterns. It uh, gives a pretty good idea of where we're going. But as you can see here, I don't know where the price of Tesla is right now, but as you notice here, that the 
the pattern that we were looking for said it should get down to about 800. I don't know how close it is to 800. It can't be very close because last time I saw it, it was like 900 or something. Someone could update me where we are with Tesla. Oh, we're almost at 800. Shut the front door and raise the rent. So that one worked relatively well. I don't trade stocks, folks. So I'm just giving you the 10-4 on this. Now, I wanted to uh, show you a couple of others here. This is the weekly chart of um, – uh, you're going to see it's had a heck of a correction here. This is the weekly chart of uh, Netflix. And as you can see, we're looking for support to come in somewhere around the 350 level. We think that should be a pretty good correction. And this, remember, this was done quite a while ago. So, so far, it's running, uh, you know, true to form. Now, if we look at Tesla on a, a smaller time frame, you look what's happened here. Just in the, you'll be able to see the ABCD patterns as uh, Tesla is making its high up there around. 700 you know we're uh, in half now it's dropped in half in a matter of uh, two months that's not a good sign but things are picking up maybe this uh, virus thing will be over in a little bit making it a whole lot uh, better for us to look at some of these things by the way if you have any questions it's 877-927-6648 i'd be happy to uh, answer them for you and if i don't know what it is i'll make something up let's take a look here at another one here the one of my favorite stocks of all time and that is the uh I, they had to change the name of it i think they were afraid to call it what it was faceless no not faceless uh facebook um okay <laughs> uh, just drive safely shane man uh, shane was listening shane smolian one of our uh, favorite uh, contributors here at tfnn is on the home, uh, picking up his son from school and is listening to us on the old jackson axon jackson take good care of your dad tonight buddy i know you're a day older but that's okay you're still a little boy you'll notice here in facebook the pattern that we had with the ABCD pattern there, uh, that was way back in September when it topped at 385. It's trading below 300 today. And you notice here this market has been in a really pronounced downtrend here for the last three or four months. Uh, telling the folks that maybe some of these tech stocks have been overvalued. And we've seen that in the NASDAQ by the fact that it gives so much of it, you know, away uh, each day. I think it's holding its own right now, as I recall. Uh, yep, it's starting to hold its own. That's a good sign that we might be able to uh, put it together here for the end of the day, and we'll see what's happening. But we had another day with a market, you know, tried to rally, and it still could rally this last half hour. But frankly, it's uh, it looks getting weaker and weaker uh, as we look at it. Now, let's look at one of the all-time favorites here. Uh, this is the daily chart of none other than Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Get this up here. Okay, this is uh, this is Apple. You'll notice here that we were looking for support to come in somewhere around that 162 level. And what happened was that day, Apple gapped down below that level. And that was why it was so very important. Let me explain to you why there was a possibility that it could gap down below that. What we do is we go down and we look at a four-hour chart. So that tells us where we are in the sequence. And as you can look here, You'll see all of these patterns completing down here at 162. Well, when that market opens, you know, a half a dollar, it, it opened a lot lower than that. It opened down to about 159. That that tells you that there's something seriously wrong. So if you got the big daddy rabbit, the one that's been the best for the last, uh, well, forever, since 82, I guess, 84, whenever it was, uh, I think 82 is when it came out. But uh, this has been a heck of a stock, you know, multi-billions of dollars uh, in cash and everything, but uh, they're having a little trouble with supply chains like everybody else. But that's where all we're doing at is we're just looking at the price charts, trying to get an idea of where we are with some of these things. So that's, uh, I think it's very important. Someone just posted a book, David White just did, about the short history of financial euphoria by John Kenneth Galbraith. In 1993, I happened to have met him when I was doing my master's degree at Indiana in finance, and he came down to uh, talk to us about uh, speculation and everything. And one of his favorite quotes was from that uh, uh, presentation was he said that we were in graduate school for two years, and he said, kids, he said, you know, you learn more about going short a contract of soybeans than you will in these two years that you're going to be here. So, <laughs> And he was probably right. Anyway. 
anyway, I was uh, just beginning trading back time back in the early 60s. But I, I remember the quote, really nice fellow and oh, really very nice to uh, meet. And here's one that's got big trouble, folks, and it has had trouble for quite some time. This stock, th th this was done on Sunday, and it's had a huge break uh, from that level. And that's Amazon. You'll see it had a huge break of a uh, little over $150 uh, last Friday. And I know it's continued down. I don't know where Amazon is trading right now. Now, but uh, the minimum objective would be around 254 uh, in Amazon. And if someone would be kind enough to tell me where Amazon is trading today, I would certainly, uh, I'd certainly like to know that. But um, where, where is it? It's at is it two? Oh, it's it's held well. It's still ain't still ahead. It's almost close to that level, but it's still got another few hundred dollars to go. Uh, just looking at these charts, uh, watching it, and then we need to look at uh, Softy. This is one that is. Uh, uh, really has come down and should have held this level at uh, 296. Uh, that was a really big spot. I think it has held it for a few days. And, but anything below uh, 296 in Microsoft tells you you're going to drop another, uh, you know, 20 bucks down to 279. So if it can hold that 296, and I believe it has, it's 299 last. So it's certainly done that. So we still have a possibility the stocks could hold this level. But folks, if we go below that level that we were talking about earlier and that is 33,000 in the Dow that's another thousand points from where we are right now uh, you don't want to be in that because it's going to go to 3,100 and that's 3,000 points in the Dow and it could do it very very quickly you know we got enough things out there we got uh, what in COVID we got the uh, we got uh, what else we got COVID we got the Ukraine situation we got uh, well you, you just pick one out and you just whatever you want to look at but any of those could you know flare up and you could be looking at just the the movement in some of these uh, financial markets could be enough to make it uh, you know make it you know very very scary. Now, the strongest of all of these stocks has been Google. And as you'll notice here, even Google, uh, I don't know how low we got in Google this week, but it said we were going to go down to about uh, 25, uh, 2520. And someone could tell me the last price in Google. Did we get anywhere near 2520 this week? We only got one more day to go, but that said we should get pretty close to that uh, this week of 2520 in Google. And uh, where that is now, I don't know, but someone's going to tell us soon. There it is, twenty-five ninety-two. We're only uh, ninety bucks away, so we're getting close in that one too. So it's going to be interesting whether these things hold as we come up this week, because we got a lot of things going on that will make it, uh, you know, very very important to look at. So I hope that helps you as we're going through looking at some of these things. I think we have to pay a couple of bills here for Mr. O'Brien and the Tiger Financial Network in the year of the Tiger, which starts on the 1st of February, the full moon, up oh, the new moon. And then we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavento for Tom O'Brien in the Year of the Tiger. I have put up the charts of the Dow Jones E-mini contract. It mimics exactly what the Dow Jones is doing. You can see here from the 13th of January, two weeks ago, you know, we came down hard into the 24th. And then we've had a nice little three-day rally, 25, 26, 27. Here's where we are today. If we go below this low at 33,400, we're only... Where we could do it today, but I don't think we will. Uh, if we drop another 600 points and close there on Friday, you do not want to be long market. And I'll tell you why. For two reasons. One, this pattern that we're looking at. But the second reason is it's historical. The last time I saw something like this was in October of 1987. And I saw this started, this pattern that we're looking at was completing on the 2nd of October. Okay, this one we're looking at right here. And I bought put options on the 2nd of October, right on that high that we had just about two days ago. Okay, and what happened over the next two weeks was known as the biggest buying opportunity the stocks had ever seen in any decade with the 1980 in it. But it was also known as the big crash. We dropped 16% in the Dow in one day. Now, they've got safeguards against that happening, but there's a lot of people out there, millennials and um, edits, reddits, and all these other people that uh, are not old enough to shave. They've never sat through anything like this, and history has a tendency to wake people up and say, hey, look at me. I've happened before. Maybe I should happen again. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. All I'm saying is just be very, very careful if we close below 33,400 uh, tomorrow especially tomorrow. And if by tomorrow we happen to be closing below uh, 33,000, man, you just don't want to be there when the Chinese market's going to be closed all uh, all next week because of the, you know, the Chinese holiday. That's the that's their New Year's and they ha they don't have a one-day party, they have a five-day party. So uh, you just want to be very, very careful. Maybe it won't happen. You know, maybe it'll go down and fake everybody out. But I've th I don't think so. And I've been doing this a long time. I, I put my first trade on in 1959. And, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of things since then. But I've seen these before. And it's uh, just a pattern. Markets go up and down. And they do it in, uh, you know, natural sequence. But like, like I mentioned before, you know, it's not it's not really uh, worth your risk if you just look at this uh, pattern that I that I posted uh, earlier uh, on the Dow Jones on on what it could possibly do. I mean, it's a it's a little scary, and uh, in fact, it even scares me, and I'm fearless. So let me find it again, so we'll be able to see it. Uh, where is it? I, did I lose it again? I have a tendency to lose a lot of things these days. Hold on one second. Okay, uh, nope, that's the one for the S&P. I haven't even done that one. Where is it? Let me look a little bit, tiny bit closer here, and we'll be able to see it. I hope. 
And I know it's here because I haven't deleted anything. And I'll find it somewhere. Well, I guess I well, there it is. Nope, that's not it. I want to show you. I've already showed you the euro on that one. I'm, no, I have not. Uh, there it is. I found it. I'm sorry, boys and girls. Here it is right here. This is the Dow Jones. Here's where we are over the last. You'll see the three day rally. You see that little three day rally. Bada bing, bada boom. You see if we close below 3300, 33,000, that's got a target of a minimum of, uh, you know, a 10 percent lower. And uh, you don't want to you don't want to stand stand in front of that. That's just a really tough thing to do. So let's remind ourselves just to be very very careful. Uh, and I think that's a very you know smart thing to do. So those are the few things we got. A lot of other markets, you know, they're hurt. Not just the you know the Nasdaq has brought everything down, but other things are getting hurt too. So you've got to be very careful. And there's another reason why you need to be very careful, and that's this one right here, which is many many times bigger than any of the other things that we're looking at here, and that is the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. We're going to look at the Treasury notes here first. Here's that. There's the ABCD pattern right there. You see that little rally? That's where we That's where we are right now in the Dow Jones. We're down a little bit from there, so we're heading towards point D down there at 125. That's what we're looking at. So the same thing we're seeing in Treasury notes, we saw it in the Dow Jones now. So uh, pattern over time, this is a weekly, the other is a daily, but the patterns are still there. They're valid. Doesn't make any difference what it is. All the markets act the same. You know, they, you know, people don't understand that, but all the buyers and sellers are all the same fellers. That's, that's really what it amounts to. Now, if we look at the Treasury bond market, here's a perfect example again of that pattern known as the ABCD pattern, also featured in Mr. O'Brien's book, you know, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, timing the market. He and David White put that together. And it's a beautiful ABCD. And that also, if you look at that pattern on a much look longer term basis, you know, you'll be able to see that it will be uh, heading, you know, a whole lot lower, just like we looked in the Treasury notes. Only what's happening is it can go a lot lower. We got bonds trading about 154 right now. We've broken that support, folks, because of what the Fed did this week. That sets up a price level of 129. That's the ABCD pattern that we're looking at here, heading down towards 129. So that's why you've got to be alert to what's going on with these markets, because by golly, you know, they can they can turn on a dime, as we've seen many times. But now is the time where you've got to be, you know, extremely careful. And I think you got to really be super careful here. If you want to see a chart that should scare you, look at the this is the weekly chart, folks of the Russell 2000 index. Look what's happened here in the Russell. I mean, look at that big down move. Now, if you want to be afraid, go back and look in 2020 when we had a big down move like that in the Russell. You see similarities there back in February of 2020? And where are we now? We're going to be in February on Tuesday. So let's be careful, you know. That's uh, that's all I'm trying to do is to give you a, a heads up here and there. But as long as we can stay above that 33,000, you know, there's no there's no danger. But uh, should we get in an area where uh, we get way above that, then <laughs> you don't want to have anything to do with that puppy. Trust me on that one. Oh, my old favorite word. Trust me. Yeah, I've heard that a million times in these markets. So they just they're just acting very poorly, folks. Now, let's get back to why this all could be happening. And that could be the fact that we're having trouble in the foreign exchange markets. And that is because of what's happening with the dollar. Again, if I put up the euro, which is 53% of the dollar index, you'll see here again, there's that same ABCD pattern getting ready to move. That's the things that can make it really jump around. In the 1987 crash, it was the Deutschmark that did it. And then the Japanese yen. Secretary Baker was over in Japan, and he walked out of a meeting, and he said the words, regrettably, that they couldn't come to a conclusion, and boy, that's what did it. That's uh, the market, the Dow Jones gap down, I think, down about 50 or 60 points on the opening. Remember, the Dow was trading at 2,600, and it went all the way down to 1,600 and 60, which was a 61% retracement of the 1982 low, starting the biggest bull market of the 1980s, which was on October the 19th and 20th of 1987. So hopefully we're going to see some really wild 
moves that we'll be able to buy and sell, do both ways. But right now, the looks like the bias is just tightly slanted to the right side of the of the ledge and uh, could change tomorrow just like it's done the last three days it's come back every time there's been a battle going on they run it up and they can't get it above it run it up and they can't give it above it and pretty soon they're going to get tired my opinion only boys and girls my opinion only we'll be right back 877-927-6648 Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. This is Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien. I've been doing this show since uh, October of uh, 2007, I believe, and the market was stopping at that time. But I, I wrote, an, I've been writing this letter for 15 years now. But uh, if you'll go back and look at uh, 2009, if you'll notice the first little white triangles that are there, uh, this is where we are in the market right now, my my friends, I really believe it. You'll see the two two white triangles there. There's the first one and the second one. I think we're getting ready to go down to make the second one for another low coming in uh, in a few months. But uh, the key to remember here is that you'll notice how the market just rallies a very short distance in that little tiny A, B, C, D format, just like we did in both of those, just like we're doing now. And when that breaks, and when that breaks, 
Oh, dear, be careful. So that's all I'm trying to tell you. You've got to be really, really careful with these markets because uh, they're very volatile. When you see that Dow Jones can move fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 a day every day for three days, are you kidding me? People are scared. Long hey, raise my hand. I'm scared, too. So, you know, it's it's uh, you just got to be really careful these days, folks. You do that by using stop placement. And when you see a market rallying really strong, you say, well, got to get out of the way here. This is not working and try it again. That's what Pat patterns are for. It's all about risk control, folks. It's not about the money that you make. It's about the amount of money that you don't lose. Remember the slot machine. Nowhere in the slot machine does it say, I've taken in more money than I've given out. No way that you can ever beat me long term. And over the past year, I've taken in $500,000 and I've only given out $350,000. Nowhere do you see that in any of your stock material that any of the people send you about risk control. So you have to do that yourself. You have to focus on what you're risking and not what you're making. That's the real key to what we're watching here uh, in the market. we got one more day to go to Friday. Remember, the thing to watch is 33000 in the Dow Jones. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless folks. See you on the flip side. <laughs>